Hey everyone, so today is April 4th and it's Saturday and we are going to be making banana bread today. And I've never made this before but this is my mom's um, recipe that is really really good and I'm just excited to share this all with you. And I'm not a baker by any means but um, just wanted to do something fun uh, on, on this day. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the oven on actually to bake. Uh, I think it's 320. We're going to bake it at 325. So I'm just preheating the oven. So the ingredients that we're using today for our banana bread um, is 3 eggs, 2 cups of sugar, 1 cup of oil, 2 cups of bananas, 3 cups of sifted flour, 1 teaspoon of vanilla, 1 teaspoon of salt, um, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of baking soda, and one eight ounce cup of crushed pineapple. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flour the buttered pan so it makes a nice layer of flour on it. So usually um, we make banana bread in loaves, but I didn't have that available to me. So that's why I'm doing it in muffin tins. Or I would have chosen to do it in loaves. one cup of oil to our liquid mixture. bananas. Um, I used three uh, overripe bananas that were uh, ready to eat like at room temperature and three frozen bananas. So two cups is about six bananas total. And then I basically just mashed it up and made it look like this. And then I'm going to now put it in. So I don't have a strain, I mean a sifter, so I'm going to use um, a strainer as my sifter today and I hope that works. But, uh, basically we're going we're gonna to need 3 cups of flour. So now we're going to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. You could use it, you definitely could use a hand blender um, for this step, but uh, Reed and I, we don't own one because we actually we're not we're not bakers so we don't really bake but um, you know this is sufficient you could do this as well if you don't have a hand blender because um, you have hands because you have hands one thing though that um, I was gonna say about this bread is that uh, for me growing up I think the what makes it really special is the pineapple that's in here and people might think it's crazy to put pineapple in um, bread like this but it really makes it um, it gives it just a great amount of moisture in the bread and it's 
it just makes it very tasty. So um, yeah, I know that that's a really good ingredient for this bread. My mother told me to uh, fill these up about two thirds of the way full. So we're gonna put it in for about 20 minutes at 325. We also had some excess, so we're gonna put this in as well. So, so far quarantine has been um, pretty interesting, I must say. Uh, have been doing a lot of cleaning and just um, doing things around the house. And, you know, I think it's definitely an interesting time that we're living in now and uh, a great way for us to, I guess, learn about ourselves and um, you know, do things that we enjoy and um, discover new things about ourselves as well. So, which is why I'm baking banana bread today. What are we gonna do with it? So, um, after this, uh, because we're making muffins, we're gonna take some to my parents' house, and we're gonna take some to maybe my sister's houses as well. And we're gonna share the love of our of the banana bread, um, staying six feet away, of course, but. I'm just going to drop it off at their house so they can taste test it and they can see if it's like my mom's banana bread. So we'll get the real answers probably tomorrow. Okay. So it's been in there for 20 minutes so I, we think it's ready but So here's the final product, um, all different sizes of love, but excited to try it in a little while after it cools. Good. It's very good. I guess like bananas in bread. It, it was good. I ate it all. Very moist. Um, I do taste the chunks of pineapple, which makes it, uh, which gives it really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. The only thing I think that I did, that I would do differently the next time, is I put, um, I put raw salt uh, in this recipe, and it definitely should uh, have fine salt. So that would be the only change that I would make. But other than that, I think I made it almost as good as my mom. So I'm proud of myself. Mm. We're hungry. <laughs> That's why we're eating. Um, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Put some more water, Mom, on the orange cup. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got? I think you got taller. That's really good. Uh, no. We well, checked his height. Yeah, some of his pants are getting short. See? <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm gonna try these muffins. Mmm. <gasps> Mm hmm. Very good. Mm hmm. Very good moist. Good job. Mm hmm. Very tasty. You taste all the elements the banana, the pineapple, the cinnamon. It's sweet and a little bit of. Sweet and salty, but not salty. too much salt. Like, perfect. Good consistency. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. She's trying to eat you. Mm. It's perfect. It's like the perfect banana muffin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's the banana bread. Let's see how good it is. Mm, very good. Delicious. Good oh, job. Let me, let me give it a try. Mm. Very excellent. Okay, this is gonna be the rest is gonna be my dessert for tonight. Good. Well, thank you for watching um, us make banana or me make banana bread. Uh, I just ate it. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm used to filming and Reed is used to cooking, so this is uh, different for me. But I really wanted to try my mom's recipe, and Reed's not really into baking, but 
uh, he will be making Portuguese bean soup, which I know I'll be filming. So excited to see that recipe. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your time at home and um, just uh, doing whatever you can, you know, to stay positive and to stay healthy. And uh, we will see you guys soon.